and it's been so it's been so well used and so well looked at that it cannot be challenged by a judge or a court. It cannot be challenged. Now many of the many of the maxims of law we talk about are very basic and simple. There are a lot of much much more complex maxims of law. Uh, I have some of those. Uh, there are eleven hundred of them. Some of them written in such a way a little bit hard to understand. I just basically put them in plain language. There are maxims that are have been around a long time and they're well established and they won't be challenged. It's important to understand those things. Now there are many maxims of law. Who's going to argue with the grass is green? Unless of course it's dead it's brown. <laughs> Help lies, help your grass is pretty well. We call it green grass, right? Find it if you can take it to the court and prove it. Any witnesses about full four of the green four? Green. Water boils at 30, at uh, 212 degrees and freezes at 32 degrees. Gravity, if you jump off this building, you're going to get hurt. Unless you've got something that defies gravity. These are just basic principles of law that you just absolutely can't overcome. Natural law will always win. Sometimes they try to thwart natural law, but natural law always comes out on top of it. Because you just can't defy it. How many of you can hold your breath here to the end of the day? Right. You find out that if you don't breathe, you'll die. Well, it's a maximum law. So you can't defy these maxims. But you can't. That's the way the law really is. The really natural elements of law. Now there are a lot of other things, and we're talking about some of the basic, simple things. You don't need to get into all of this. So uh, I try to avoid that, as y'all know. I keep it simple. Do all the legal mumbo jumbo and write big, send me in pages, and all right, impress somebody. I was the one who got surprised by uh, my knowledge of the law. They didn't even know the law, so they wanted to know weren't surprised at all. They were just ignoring more than anything. They just wrote over most of it. And, you know, even though I didn't have enough in there that I could win. The, the basic principles that we operate are very simple. And we, I have had occasions when I went to court that had a sharp turn. So I had to use some evasive tactics, you might say, to try to win. Cases I was concerned I even took and spilled coffee on my paperwork, very unprofessional, wrinkled it, all of these things to make them just, just, you know, the paperwork looked like this. It looked like it was very unprofessional and it looked like it was none of those nothing. I'll look at this idiot. He has a document with coffee stains. Go through it. This. They just missed it. What he didn't know is that's what I wanted him to do. He didn't read it. And then by the time they realized that I had them trapped, it was too late. Most of y'all many times trapped. All you have to do is you leave them trapped. They make it look like it's not very professional. They have no four different things. Right. Not part of their club. You can't possibly win in that area. Not all lawyers are that way. Not all judges are that way. You know, I'm talking about judges and lawyers. don't mean everybody. There are, I have some very honorable judges as friends. Honorable as well. Not many. Comparison to how many I know. But they are some. You're in the legal profession. I hope the friend of God that you're an honorable person too. They're very rare. Basic, simple principles that we use. Parties may not always have a right to a claim. You don't necessarily have a right to a claim. You have to prove it. Prove that you have standing. That you have the legal right to a claim. But you always have the right to a counterclaim. Had it right to a counterclaim. Someone brings an action or a claim against you, you have the automatic right to that counterclaim. Counterclaim and admiralty has to be answered, cannot be dismissed. I want you to understand that abundantly clear. A counterclaim and admiralty has to be answered, and it cannot be dismissed. Has to be. The law, the rules of civil procedure say that they have to party must have legal standing to bring a claim. You don't have a cause of action. If you're not a damaged party, you've got to be damaged in order to have standing to bring a claim. Bank cannot risk its assets or the assets of its stockholders to make a loan. A voucher. Can't risk it. That brings us to the point. This brings to bring a damage, to bring, have standing to do that, and a bank can't be damaged because there's no risk. How are they bringing claims before? Problem is, law says that we can make. Law says.
here is that we can demand the wedding signature notary. It says we can. And we can demand that wedding signature notary. And if we demand it, they've got to produce it. They've got to produce it. Guess what? They go into dishonor. We've got a bunch of references on here. We've got a bunch of legal cases and references on here. Several cases that you want on this legal reference. <coughs> so if a bank doesn't have standing, <coughs> it, can't, it can't really, it doesn't have standing to bring the claim against you, who is the damaged party now? You are. Because they've committed a fraud against you. But you took this thing out and said, it's an old noise. So, maybe it needs to be turned down. The bank has committed fraud against you because they don't have a legal standing. They must be proven if a, demand, a debtor demands proof. Debtor may demand the original witness signature note as proof of claim. The claimant must provide the original note as proof of claim if it is demanded. Required. Trustee in a bankruptcy is required to bond the case for the total amount of the debt plus the court costs and attorney fees. Uh, no, that's worse. <laughs> if the trustee, that's a little better. If the trustee has to bond, actually the clerk bonds the trustee, or causes the clerk trustee to furnish the bond, bankruptcy case, and he has to bond that for the total amount of the debt plus court costs, <coughs> the amount of the court costs and attorney fee goes into dishonor, guess what? On that bond. I guess that in Alabama, the trustee got caught in a lie. On the record, we got, doc we got the documents to prove it. Okay. Now we made him, made him waive his immunity. We got it on the record. Because he said when we put it to the sword, he, he had been telling all this time that he had proof of claim on this mortgage. When we put him to the sword, it made him testify under oath, waiving his immunities he had to admit on the record in federal court that he did not ever had never seen proof of claim. That's far from an He admitted that he moved forward illegally without proof of claim. After we demanded it repeatedly, many times we demanded it, and they brought forward proof of claim. Never. Never even offered it. For it. But they can't. Now they're in dishonor. So we put a lien against his bond. Well, we found out this little significant detail. First, let him bond this case, which is worth us for a million dollars. Say, so there's a big, powerful bar association, and you're not going to take both out of time and have any hope to do that. <laughs> Not only because the clerk didn't properly bond the case, bonded the case for a million dollars, her bond is now bond And because of all the attorneys that were involved, we have a lien against all the law firms and all the attorneys' bonds. How much the law firms we found out of bond for? I got four of them on my lien. The average between 400 and 800. <laughs> Oh, and then we included the court because the court was involved in the fraud, so now we've got the EIN number of the court lien. So this is the value of the bankruptcy court and the bank that was involved, we've got there. Plus, we've got all the personal property of all the time and young at their risk. Yeah. Although these liens are fruitless and uh, have no foundation in law, I cannot give you injunctive relief as you are requested. I sent a letter the other day. sent a letter back and said, if it's bogus and fruitless, dismiss it yourself. But I don't give you permission to do it. Guys are locked down in commerce, and they don't know the lawyers decided that he was going to be smart, and he went and he had lean He said that he told the radio station that it was a good Told it for $1.1 million and a mic mortgage. They left it. We put the lead. Now, we own the, the radio station property. They have, but this bank has got $1.1 million. That bank is not going to be too happy because now, they can't deliver title to the property. They have one point lawyer. Not only that, there's a criminal case pending on him and documented. So they do that we found out. And buddy, they were very cooperative because they didn't want to get drugged up that fraud. So understanding these maxims of law give you the power to do no protection against whatsoever because they commit fraud. Everybody says, well, there's not really anything you can do. Bull. Tell them you can do a lot. And what I want you folks to understand is that you're not out there by yourself. There's 22 million of us at least. They're catching on. This is spread across the country like wildfire. We've got so many, we've got so many negative environmental bonds going into these banks that the 
Levites have already got together and had a meeting about it. How do I know that? Because it doesn't matter whether you get a letter from Mark Hillary or Bank of America or City Bank. It's the same form letter. That's how I know they got together. I'm getting them from all over the country, people who eat ice and drink. Same letter everywhere, all over the country. That's how I know they got together. That they're concerned. That means. But it's like introducing the swine flu virus into the population because they commit the fraud, fraud and they are responsible. Now, all of these agencies are bonded. Bonds are the Achilles heel. And the bonds are their Achilles heel. Two reasons. Because you take them. Because they're there for their dishonor and the public. That's what they're there for. Most of them for a lot of money. A lot more than you owe, really. Oh, absolutely. Who thinks of money? Everybody, everybody that deals with the public is bonded. Bonded or insured. Everyone. Hey, they're not, but they're bonded. Their paperwork gets cured and everything. Not they got bonds. Hey. Now, what we're trying to do is we want you to understand the whole thing that we can do here at these folks. Once we talk about that tomorrow, how do we protect these guys with the name permit? We protect your lien because they're committing fraud. And because of that, we can come against all supports what we're doing. Okay. So now, what happens if uh, those who discharge the required by law to accept them, value to ask our value as Federal Reserve notes is right there. They're not that they're refused against them. There are a hundred people across this nation who take on each. That's easy. We've got way more people than that. Come together in one location. Did you know you can come to one local federal district court? All of it is for 125 that you can foreclose on that bank. Liquidate their assets. The judge has to give you a new basis. You might be interested. Okay, it's very interesting. Do it with as many as, as few as 50. Oh boy. What I'm trying to teach people across this nation, you don't have to stand by yourself. If you go into this bankruptcy, you or maybe a couple of your friends, the judge is going to really try to beat you up. That's like how they work. Because the bankers and the judges are in bed together and we usually live with it. Gender is not important. That's true. That's not a joke. Really hard. They wrote the bank manual. Captain Bar Association. Time later, I might read you an excerpt out of one of the bankers, the bankers from the Bankers Manifesto. <coughs> Bottom line is, is that if what do you think is going to happen if 50 people crack up and have a beach in file against the city bank or walk over your bank in the federal bill? They're not going to be able to cover that up. Able to too much. Oh, you can't cover up for so much. What if a hundred people? Thousand. What if ten thousand? They've brought their stock to zero. And without, when that bankruptcy goes in against that country, they're going to, oh my God, they're, Wall Street's going to go to the world. They're getting in construction. Ah, even before you win, it gets filed. Just me. Now, do we want to destroy the banks? No. I know you do. That's in there. That's not what we're trying to accomplish here. What we're trying to do is force the banks into a position they go, hey, we're going to have to start taking these notes seriously. Well, these the assets are still out there. Hide their assets from you. No, well, they're not going to do that. That's, this is the, they're going to want to do some kind of sell. What can we do? If they would just accept our notes and discharge our debts when we send them in, we, we, I would. It's not our intent to destroy them. It's our intent to let them know we can. And I'm telling you, you can. I know for a fact, I've already paid them about it. It's to take a note. It's great, isn't it? I'm having fun with them right now. But I own the bank. Actually, I've taken two. I own the I own the property here. I own the house of the banker, the, the president of the bank banks. I own his house, too. I own everything that he's got. All of his retirement funds, his bank accounts, all of his cash on hand, his diamond ring. Stuff. Own it. That's why they're trying to get us in court on the night. They're treating this judge. We've got to have a lien for this lien he's got on us. We've got to. Because the next step. If we don't end up selling it, we've got a contract to sell it. <clears throat> I'm going to do a chapter session and take all of it. Not by yourself. You don't have to go into court and face a mean, <coughs> nasty federal judge by yourself. Bunch of bank attorneys, which I love. To <laughs> I have, I've had a blast with some of these attorneys. We have several cases now that are negative the vermin in place that the attorneys and the judge showed up with some. We got them too. We put them at the time. We're going to keep calling for them. So we had, we had them to the plant because they volunteered to get involved. And so we put them there in there. 
they could take it to the Department of Counsel. They probably didn't involve themselves in this case. We didn't hide anything. Judges can't hand it off to other judges because other judges didn't because they could come to them. Bottom line is, is that basic principles. I don't understand who you are and what you are, where you are. Also, you have to understand who they are. Talk to the court before it's their bond, which is their job. It's important to know what your rights are. The biggest problem that the American people have is they don't know who they are, they don't know what their rights are, they don't know anything. Come down. Now, the public school system. Every school teacher, God bless you, I hope you did a good job. Bottom line is, is the public school system was set up by socialists in 1920. Children of this nation. What it was set up for. Do you think Obama is is the first communist president that we've ever had? No. Heck no. One of many. The agenda of all these presidents for the last 50 years has been the same. Very few presidents that we had slipped through the ranks there that were not socialists or communists. I imagine probably did. Part of the agendas. Might have been a little bit on the outside. Eisenhower. He might have been a little bit on the outside. FDR was socialist. I think FDR, like Woodrow Wilson also, uh, had a conscience. That's what he did to his country. Uh, he even wrote about it. He said he thinks all the socialists don't I think FDR had a case of conscience at the end. He was shot. The expression of independence is the document that establishes or, or that tells us what those rights, basic rights are. Rights were not given to us by government by any document. They were God given and only a war. Not given by government. They can't be taken by government. Right. You can do what you want to do. All the deception is you who <coughs> like this boy. This is what the Declaration of Independence. That was the Declaration of the 13 United States. And in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature entitle them. So this is like reading the New York Times. <coughs> it, it's, 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 it's all these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. That they're endowed by their creator with certain unlimited rights. That, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit that to secure these rights, governments are instituted of having their just powers from the consent of government. From where do they derive their power? <laughs> from the consent of the governor. Who, are, who was that? Folks? Us. Us. And whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is altered or abolish it. And it, oh, now what now? I sound like a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was written 233 years ago. <laughs> or terrorists, if you think about it. It is the right of the people to alter them or abolish it. And to institute new government, laying its foundations on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as the men shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate the governments of the long established should not be changed for life and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shown that men were disposed to suffer, while evil results are sufferable, than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to us. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object, if, if it, I should say evidence, I believe, designed to reduce them under absolute despotism, they're right. It is their duty. It is their duty to do what? To throw off government and to provide new guards for their future security. In the patient suffrage of these colonies, and such is found the necessity which constrains them to alter their former system of government. The history of the present King of Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To provide this, let tax be submitted first. One, it is refused to accept the laws and the, the most wholesome and necessary he has forbidden his government to pass laws of the meaning of the operation of his assent to be obtained when it was suspended, he had only neglected to attend. He has refused to pass other laws for the accommodation of large, large districts of people, right, and national, and estimable, and estimable, and formidable to tyrants only. He has called together legislative bodies in places unusual, distant from the depository, the sole purpose of the team back and forth to corrupt these bodies, and they hire them sometimes. Have you ever dealt with law firms and banks and stuff like that? And you see, they, how many paralegals do you think they got that oh. little letter that you sent? They got many more than you got, and they just played the game. They just wear you down. 
gives us all the representative houses repeatedly to oppose it with many firmness in invasion of the rights of man, invasion of the rights of the people. He has refused for a long time after such dissolution to cause others to be elected, whereby the legislative power is incapable of annihilation, and have returned to the people at large for their exercise. The state remains in the meantime closed to all the dangers of invasion from without and compulsion to within. Never to prevent the population of these states from that purpose of struggling and naturalization of foreign courage their immigration. He has instructed the administration to pay judges depend on his will alone for the tenure of their offices and the amount of payments. He has erected a multitude of new offices and sent him to as our people and eat out their substance. That sounds awful. Yet he has kept among us in times of peace, standing army without the consent of our legislature. Have you heard the report just yesterday on the news? Obama is demanding a private standing army equal to the United States. Made up of foreign troops. Demanded that yesterday. It's on the news yesterday. Why? Well, that's my why? question. Why? That's what Glenn Beck is asking. Why? Why does he feel he needs a private army? Because he brings them over here. They go over here. He said it would be better for foreigners to shoot us than. I will promise you this, America. If we bring foreign armies over here to occupy this country, they will be buried on American soil. He has effected to render the military independent of its security and security system. He has combined with others to subject us to a jurisdiction foreign to our constitution. That is America today, folks. And acknowledged by our laws, giving him this assent to their acts of pretended legislation, ordering large bodies of armed troops among us, protecting them by mock trial, from punishment for any murders which they should commit on the inhabitants of these states. Is that going on today? Law enforcement officers are killing people left and right across this country. Are some justified? Absolutely. If the man body justified. But the two guys down in Houston County Jail last year, they chased her to death because they wouldn't give them their fingerprints. I don't think that that's justifiable. They chased them to death in the Houston boat for about a month. Talked to them and chased them. Why did you see it? Cutting off our trade with all parts of the world for imposing taxes on us, depriving us in many cases, not cases of the benefit of throwing us beyond the seas of tribes or dependent on us, abolishing the free system of English laws in the name of establishing their in an arbitrary government and enlarging its borders so as to render it once for an example and fit instruments for individuals taking away our charters, abolishing the most valuable laws and alter, altering fundamentally the forms of our governments for society and legislature. I would legislate, legislate for all of them, us in all cases whatsoever. He has advocated government here by declaring us out of his protection and waging war against us. He has plundered our seas, ravaged our coast, burned our lands, and destroyed the lives of our people. He is at this time transporting large armies of foreign mercenaries with great guns and circumstances seriously parallel and perfectly parallel, parallel in the most barbarous ages. And totally under of the head of the civilized nation. Exactly what's about to happen in America. He has constrained our fellow citizens, taken captive on the high seas, bear arms against their country, come to executioners that fall themselves by their hands. He has excited domestic insurrection amongst us and has endeavored to bring on the inhabitants of our frontiers a merchant's own rule of warfare <laughs> is under the distinguished destruction of all ages, sexes, and institutions. <coughs> in every stage of these impressions, we have petitioned our repeated petitions by repeated injury. Character is thus marked by every action they can find a time to, to be the ruler of a free people. Or have we been wanting in attention to our British brother? We have, when we have had time of the attempt by the legislature to extend horrible jurisdiction over us because of the circumstances of our immigration to settlement here. We have appealed to their native justice and nemity. And country bill by the by the kinds of our common kindred to disavow these usurpations we are our connections and correspondence. They too have been deaf to the voice of justice and must therefore acquiesce in the necessity to announce our separation and hold therefore the representative of the United States to the Supreme Judge for the rectitude of our intentions to do the authority of the good people of these colonies. Solemnly publish and declare that these United Colonies are and Right ought to be free and independent. They are resolved from all allegiance to the British crown and that all political connection between us and the 
Constitution was, was originally drafted in, in salt powers and protection. Even though it limited the powers of the big government, it didn't protect the rights of the individual. Therefore, Congress sent back for ratification and said, you've got to do better, you've got to protect the rights of the back in 1791, and with it was the Bill of Rights. Because the Bill of Rights protected the rights of the Most people don't know. Now, when you're writing negative affirmative cases, the Declaration of Independence that we just had said that these are not given in unequal rights. And these there is no law that can be passed by any Congress to protect those rights. If it is, it's a Bill of Attainder, and it is illegal. It's not a law at all. It has no authority and no power. Bill of Rights just tells us what some of those are. It doesn't get them all. It tells us the basic human rights that we have. Well, these are law. They have a suggestion. They can go right at will, like they've done. Once the American people understand what those rights are, stand on those rights, then we can do something about the problem. You don't know you're missing it if you don't know you ever had it. Number one, the First Amendment. A Congress, a Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or the right of the people peaceably to live. There's a separation of church and state in that. We've been told all of our lives that there's a separation between church and state. We cannot separate our laws and our government from the Christian religion because the basic principles of our nation are Christian principles, and they even said, and they reaffirm it every ten years in Congress, the Bible is the basis of our law. Where's the separation of church and state? The Holy Amendment, a real, well-regulated militia, militia, being necessary for the sanctity of every state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. There's a lot of play going on in this. How many of you in here on firearms? Bad people. I don't, I don't have any firearms. That's a gun. <laughs> firearms and guns are not the same thing. You didn't know that. <laughs> firearms are like explosive devices, incendiary devices. Uh, guns are completely different. They're not including the list of firearms. They don't understand the play on words here. So when I also ask you if you've got any firearms in your vehicle, firearms in your vehicle? Uh -huh. Wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't volunteer. I teach you not to volunteer if you make good. And not to consider firearms. Mortars and, and, uh, and hand grenades and stuff like that, explosive incendiary devices, that sort of thing. Those are firearms. Guns are not firearms. They're not, just, they're not defined as firearms. There are people that are against guns. I, I will say this. I like guns. I really but, I've had to use a gun three times. Never shot anybody yet. I was probably, no, I, I did I, Well, I tried it one time. I did try it. Bottom line is, is that uh, other people that have weapons rob me or break in on me. And I don't have to shoot anybody. I carry a, what they call a hot weapon. Three different times. I, the, first time, the first time I used it, it was a robbery attempt. The second time I used it was a robbery attempt. Fire shot. I just let them know. I, they would catch it easier. Before. Last time I used it was in a hotel room down in Tampa, Florida. Some guys just kicked the door in in the middle of the night, and I, I sat straight up to bed and went all the way like this, and they saw it. I didn't know people could run in the <laughs> They left the room quicker than they came in. But I never had to hurt anybody. My bottom line is, is that I've done never killed anybody. You'll ask the big kids in this country, they really did this to his grandkids. He said, all oh, guns are bad, they kill people. They have been brainwashed by the media and by the public school system. Guns are bad. Guns are evil. Guns are not evil. People are evil. I can lay a load of 45 right here, and if anybody touches that gun, it won't harm us over. You guys can pick it up and kill somebody with it at any time. Now, do I encourage people to have guns? Wait for them to use it on you. All you have to do is let people know you want to. I have a lot of my family is self care. Third minute. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the John Warnerack. That was just done away. They passed the law, and John Warnerack says, do away with policy comments. I rejected us from that. So how can be That's the whole point. It's illegal. Fourth Amendment. The right of people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable service. Upon probable cause, supported by what? Oath or affirmation. Have you ever seen a legal warrant?
Why is not saying one another for you? Probable <laughs> cause means that somebody has eyewitness account that you eyewitness them. And they come to have to be done by eyewitness. Johnny Jones over here can't tell you that Billy Ray told him that I did something wrong. Johnny Jones that does an affidavit has to see it. How are these officers getting warrants? Snitches. What do you call snitches? The officer will do the affidavit. Story of the snitch. Warrant. What's well, illegal? That's called, that's called hearsay evidence, and that's not even. I haven't seen a. I have not seen a law in a long, long time. Now, how many of you know what fruit of the poison tree means? That if they don't have a proper search warrant, that every search cannot be used as evidence. That warrant is not legal. Everything that follows thereafter is illegal. And warrant is the basis of what they do. They use the illegal John Doe warrants every day. I had one down in Tennessee. Guy walked in and said, "You see anything wrong?" Dude, look at it. Good to see you right here. Dead for 20 years. Crops and copies of the woman. Just died, and they just did it. I don't think he had any problem getting his case dismissed. One little word in here. I want a case on that word. So I had a friend of mine that stopped a seafood truck up in the thousand dollars worth of seafood food. All day. He held his son at gun eight hours while they raped because somebody reported he was hauling illegal stuff on the truck. Had a warrant. Then they find the guy over twenty thousand dollars because he had they found some all oysters over twenty thousand dollars in fines, but it wasn't even there. They had to find something to justify the stop. Put all the evidence, and they just. But then, so I got stuck and said, "Well, you know, I, I didn't understand what that word affects me." So I'm goods that are transported up and down the highway. Well, I wrote a letter to the assistant department and told him this is law. I hired the assistant director probably looking for a reason to fire him. Now, and we got all the stuff dismissed, and they passed an ordinance that they would never stop another truck in the county like that. Made in effect. Is that really? a thousand times. Let me stop them. Well, I don't want to make them mad. I said, what in the heck do you think they're doing now? Are they your friends? <laughs> uh, he, was not the, he was not an aggressive person. They followed the law to the letter of the law. <laughs> no person shall be in hell to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime. Not of a grand jury. <laughs> there cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia. When an actual service in time of war or public subject for the same possibility of je jeopardy of life or limb, or shall be compelled in any criminal case to be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, or shall private property be taken for public use. Without due process of law. How many of you have ever had a, a, a law that's supposed to be there to protect you? Bottom line is, is that had you known then what you know now would have been bad. Now, the bottom line is, is that you should have given what you did. And grasp what I'm trying to show you, a lot of information from that, you what he was trying to tell me. Monster. <laughs> we create monsters all over the country. They'll be afraid of you because they know the rights you have. And then, a uh, well, case in point here, I told most of you this story privately. So he had broken to his house, took $20,000 for it. But he, he knew he owed the money. And instead of giving the money back to the man that held it, as though he need that as evidence, but he did that. Well, the kids stole $500, and they were convicted of theft. But it took them eight months before they. Oh, but that's not the good part. They charged him 3% of that. <laughs> and they took 24%. Almost $5,000. Now, who did it worse? The thieves of the government. The did it much worse. The state, the state of Florida didn't want no difference between them. That's true. Probably. Yeah. Now, all criminal prosecution, the accused shall enjoy the right of the right of speed trial, trial, and public trial by an impartial jury. Wait, in a criminal case, Hayes. Wait, the right of the speed trial. They, this is where the crime shall have been committed. This shall have been previously I told you. No, they give you the nature and cause, which shows you the law that says you can't do it. Violate the Sixth Amendment. Coming with witnesses against him and have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Seventh Amendment, in suit to common law, for the value of the controversy shall receive $20. Right of the trial by jury shall be observed, and no fact tried by a jury shall otherwise be re examined in any court you may on the law. Where do we use that? Calling for stamps on all of our mailings. What does that do? Have a right to a trial by jury. Any matter, this doesn't say any Now, if I've been a judge down here in my local county, <coughs> and I send a note to discharge that debt that I just do to that judge, make <coughs> a decision before we go to a jury. Uh -huh. It doesn't because it's this on the credit that federal judge go for a criminal investigation. For criminal grand jury and grand jury. Okay. The Eighth Amendment says the bail shall not 
not be required. You know, it says to find and close no proof. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord in the Constitution. The public is saying God will forgive you by a certain state of respect. I sent a note to the court to discharge the debt with 21 days from the mail. And not only did it have the $21 in the stamp, it honors the $21. Oh. The only proper order of, of, of lawful venue that that, that judge didn't even have the authority to do this. Yeah. Did you just love that case? Yes, I did. I wrote him a letter to that effect. I it to him. That I knew he didn't have the authority to even make a decision. But what did he do? He went in and was facing criminal charges. All bad conspiracy and racketeering. He said, yeah, we love it. We love it. Because the guard boards, and I think I've read that in the law, I, don't, I can't tell you what I've read so many volumes of law, I don't know where it's going to be. Legal stuff. Mm -hmm. All those sites up on our. I got some some legal references if following here, but we're going to put all of that stuff on our website because I get those questions every day. Can you? Uh, yeah, I'm going to update mine. Now mine are two years old. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Through the through the. Okay. Line, the representative line represents so negotiable instruments and pay out money to the Red Cross. Work club. Work club. Because the Seventh Amendment says in any matter. That involves twenty dollars or more. Right to a trial by the jury. Right to a trial by the jury will not. Anything. Uh, they you don't request that you demand. Oh, uh, I. Did you do it? Not right. Touched against me. Oh, uh, my fault. Negative uh, verbal on him. Take. I didn't do it in my. I didn't write the courthouse. I'm asking him. Don't make a request to a demand. Okay. Demand I people. Don't order them. Don't ask. Them. Not asking they anything. They They've got to We are shown. Who do they get their consent from? People. The people. The government. If you don't give them our consent, they can't operate. Urgent <coughs> proof is on them. Volunteer. That's how they can be volunteer. Or a little already. Uh, they call my name. I said, well, I'm here in, in interest. I'm a party in interest in that matter. I'm not the defendant. However, I am your uh, representative. What's your name? My name is uh, Capital J, lowercase A M E S. <laughs> capital T, lowercase I N O T H Y. Capital T, lowercase U R A E R. James Concurrent. I sometimes I do. Of course, it would depend on whether I want it. If I've done a negative affirmative, it is perfected. No, I don't have any voting. Uh, I am quite clear that it's like it. I said, but Judge, I have a question. He said, what's the question? I said, I have to enter the court. I've already won this case. I saw it, and I don't know what the time is. I don't care where you're talking to me, but I don't want to listen to your speeches anymore. Thank you for the speech. Well, the only best interest to settle this today, because it's fixing to go to stage. Basically, what's going to happen is it's all out of so if you're already in the middle of a case, I'm here. Uh, in, 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 I, I'm here uh, as a third party in interest in this case. I'm here as a third party. I'm here as a trustee for the All Capital Land Trust that you call whatever it is. James and the Who are you? Well, I know that I know. Oh, it depends. Uh, I like the thousand dollar now. I do too. <laughs> so, 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 okay, well, uh, like she does, it's fine. Uh, this is, uh, are you, you please? This is uh, James Timothy Turner, uh, Representative of uh, Capital Letter James T. Turner. And how might I help you? Uh, could you give me your credit card, please? <laughs> could you give me your credit card for $1,000 an hour? Yes. Basically, I, I, the way I would answer is you want to do that, at least time is me.
study on the difference between dealing with both of the private side of the bank. When you work on the private side of the bank, it's different. I told you here at the law firm. That's no right. The rules, federal rules. Right. To come back, I and I'll get that side. I've got it in my notes. I don't have it okay. with me. Getting this put together, and I worked on this stuff for 14 hours the other day trying to get it all together. And uh, it's just ran. <laughs> that was my day out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the federal rules of civil, civil procedure require them to provide you, and I do have the site back at my office. And with all this, with Denise's help, we're going to put all of this stuff on the website so you can go look at it. Free contract. Okay. Absolutely. I would have to do that, right? Yeah, you need to respond to some of their decisions. You drive them crazy. What in the world is this crazy stuff? This is deficient. Why is it deficient? So they have to send another letter. We can wear them out. Deficient? Have fun with it. Well, in, in the uh, email that uh, we talked about the protection stamp, don't do this for criminal. Oh, do it for criminal. Right. Now, if, if I was my wife so nervous, she got a, a demand for an affidavit of U.S. You know, it's not signed, it's not dated, it's not even. Yeah, it doesn't probably revoke her nursing. No. The license is approved. I understand. You have to take the order. Right. Don't have any kind of license. You've got to abide by the rules. Right. Law, as, uh, I like the fifth and sixth, not the even some of the things. Of course, we go to lunch, folks. Uh, we'll come back. Uh, let's try to get back at 1.30. We've got a lot of information to cover, and uh, we're going to have some fun. Thank you. I'll turn that off.